Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing a game called Sparks by Rabble, who we love. We're very excited to Sparks play this by game. Rabble, oh. who we love. love. Sparks by Rabble, who we love. I am so excited about this game because it feels like something that I would play all the time. This is a conversational game based on astrology. We are going to pull a past, a present, and a future card. And after that, based on those cards, we are each gonna get a personalized question that is about us and we are going to answer it and share it. So we get to see who we really are. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be raw today. <laughs> yeah. Gemini. Oh. We're raw doggy. <laughs> oh, Gemini's boy. are at the end of the table. We really need to get these people roped in. Love that. Look at how pretty the cards are. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? They, they so look like pretty. they have three different shades of purple from the way you're <gasps> Is it like, embossed? Ooh, yeah. I work? love it. Okay, so each so of boss. us are gonna pull a past card and then oh. a present card and then a future card. And <gasps> based on those cards, we get a personalized reading. This is so yeah. nice. But does the cards are like beautiful and sparkly and like indented. Usually we're playing cards with like weird gnomes on it. <laughs> like they're making stupid faces and they're like, that's a sword gnome. <laughs> and it does that. Are you a Libra? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, okay, so Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. Aquarius. Libra. Sagittarius. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. We will see who the better sign is. Yeah. Let's start picking. <laughs> Let's spark <laughs> some conversation. Let's tell some stories. Very good. <laughs> Court. Ah! Gemini. Here we okay. go. Here okay. we go. What do you look back at and think, I would never do that again? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, shit. I have a good story. Um, I would never do this again, uh, which is like just trusting strangers. Um, oh, because facts. And the story is, I went to Hawaii when I was like 16 with friends, uh, and like there was like we had a chaperone and stuff, but like we were very independent, and we would just like meet locals and just trust them to just take us places. Oh boy! And like some ended up being sketchy, and some ended up being cool. But it's like I am very lucky I am alive in this moment. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and like it wasn't even like. It was like random dudes. Oh, like my goodness! Dudes in their twenties that were just like, "Oh my god, take us to the, take us parasailing, take us to the top of this mountain." Like, yeah. Oh my god. That's I do that when I travel. No, honestly, I, I don't really don't blame you for that because it's, I don't either. It's really hard to find the balance of like wanting yeah. to believe that the world is good and friendly and just immerse yourself, but it's also like the world is not all friendly no. and good, no. and you really can't do that. No, and like we were way too young to be just running around with these guys who were like, like one guy drove us to a beach. And then another, like we met, then he started being weird. And then in that same night, we met two guys who were in the military, like stationed there. And they're like, we'll take you to a beach and a hike tomorrow. Oh, and we're no. like, okay. And I'll they, raise they, you a beach. Yeah. I'll meet your beach and raise you a hike. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is happening? Yeah. Angela was, was that guy that picked you up <laughs> in Hawaii. That was Angela. Yeah. <laughs> I've been following you ever since. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Intense. So, yeah. I would not do that again. Definitely yeah. trust is something I hold dear to me now. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, we're, we're glad you're here. We're glad Thanks. you're here. Thanks. Keep that card. Yep, that's mine. You pass. Hey, Gemini so number two. Where are the boys now? <clears throat> okay, pass. <laughs> Starting with you, everyone shares their most common food craving. Oh, it's a lunar event. Draw another card. <gasps> oh. So lunar events we all do despite, oh. What, say it? No, despite <laughs> our sign. Yes. Yes. Okay, so um, most common food craving, mm -hmm. honestly, honestly, like, wing, like boneless wings Ooh. with a bunch of different sauces. Mm -hmm. Like, um, oof, all the time, or that or poke. Oh, oh wow! Okay, specifically a like, mango habanero sauce. Oh my god, habanero! Sorry, my mouth. <laughs> that is delish. Um, honestly, mine's kind of simp. Uh, like a beautiful. You guys like that? Are you simping for it? No, you guys like that? You're just kind of mid. Kinda simp. You're just kind of mid. Mm. No, keep her on simp. It's really good. Simp, <laughs> slay. Um, mine's like a beautiful slice of bread with seeds on it with butter. Jam and a slice of cheese. Just seeds? Oh, yummy. From anywhere? Yeah, yeah just seed? any fucking seeds. Yeah. I want to roll it in a bird seed cedar and then put <laughs> butter and jam and cheese on it. Butter what kind of cheese? Really good. Uh, cheddar or manchango. Ooh. Is it cold, oh. cold cheese? Oh, I love cold manchango. cheese, baby. Love it does me a manchango. Cheese. Yeah. Okay. Manchango. It's a little like manchango appetizer. Like a, tea, <laughs> like a tea sandwich. Nice. Cute. Yep. Your turn, um, wild. I'm usually craving anything you would find on a charcuterie bird. Oh, <gasps> yeah. So, so, so bread and jam yeah, and butter yeah, and but cheese. I, but I, seeds. But, but, seeds. Hey, hey. 
but I'm craving the like gallivanting of it all. Yeah, Ooh. I'm crave. I'm a big craver of the picking. Yeah, I never okay. crave like a meal. I Do you remember like the Mediterranean charcuterie board I made? Yes, that was a that very was good fun. one. Yes, I, I hear making them is super fun yeah, too. It like is. that's oh, the yes. whole art in it. So oh, I really you know want to get do? into that. You do rivers and valleys. I love oh. that. Whoa! You do salami, roses, cheese, <gasps> valleys. Mm -hmm. What the hell? I'm Teach big on class. I'm big Yeah, on we should diagonals. do a little like charcuterie board charcuterie making Charcuterie off. <gasps> Let's do a charcuterie Shut off. Shut off. Charcuterie have to queen. Be a competition. One charcuterie board I made had mini grilled cheeses. Mike drop. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Graze. That sounds amazing. Okay. Um, okay, I am a huge sweet tooth. Mm. So anything chocolate. Like oh, chocolate. Really? Chocolate specifically. Like I do love like sour gummies and stuff, but it's the chocolate cravings that hit me at like 11 p.m. So like molten chocolate cake from Chili's? <gasps> yeah. Sorry. You, what? You've yeah. done that uh, like, we're not even 10 minutes into the video. Yes. You've done that already three times. Okay, we're talking about food. What do I you love it. Yeah, honestly, you took the sound out of my mouth. I feel like that's that's one of the best desserts and people hate on chilies, but I would show up. Who's chilies hating on chilies? chilies? No one is chilies. literally no ever hating on chilies. Reveal yourselves. Who is hating chilies on chilies? Chilies is the f***ing shit. Anybody? Reveal yourselves. Margaritas <laughs> are the size of your head. Let's be real. Yeah. I love it. I love lunar events. Yeah, Pork? lunar events are fun. Uh, I, you know me, ramen. Yes. I specifically oh, yeah, shabu yeah. shabu. Cause like I love I love food that's fun to eat mm -hmm. and like shabu shabu is where you basically have this like hot pot in front of you and you add all the vegetables and the noodles and meats Yummy. and you have rice as well and like I'm just like oh my gosh and it's like it feels healthy and yeah. I just love I love noodles fun to eat stuff mm. I love I love spicy I want to I want to feel something mm, me too mm. Mm -hmm. I want to feel something draw another card what book or movie had the biggest impact on you growing up Ooh. um Ooh. negative impact. Uh, oh. Sleepy Hollow, I think it was with Johnny Depp. Oh, the Headless yeah. Horseman movie. That and Christina scared Ricci. The, scared the shit out of me. Do you still get nightmares about it? No, but I used to all the time, like Sucks. real bad. Positively, there was a movie called Star Kid. It was basically oh, Blue gosh. Beetle, but. I feel oh. like I heard about that one. Yeah. So like here's a, all Blue Beetles, your movie? Star not Kid. Blue Beetle, Star Kid, but I was like, always like, it's like an alien suit coming down. And he gets in the suit and he can't get out of it. Wait and he a like second. Bonds with Who's the suit. in that? It's old. Yeah, it's old. I've seen it too. So from Jurassic no Park. way. <gasps> Maybe that's why too, because I loved Jurassic Park. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Pretty cool. Oh, I love Pretty that cool. Question. Nice. I like that. That was All a right. good question. You done? Yeah. Are you done? Okay. <laughs> pass card. If you could thank one person from your past, who would you thank? Uh oh. These are so deep. Dang. Uh oh. She's a thankful Fish girl. I'm power. very, I'm very thankful. I love that about her. You know what? I would thank my piano teacher, Dolores Paradise. Oh, Dolores. No. Her name? Dolores. That's who I based my D and D her character on. Yeah. And we're wow. just finding this out now. Yeah. Where was this earlier? I don't know. <laughs> you. Your piano teacher's secret. name is Dolores Paradise? Oh my god, what if you're telling her story wow. and you don't even know it? I, is she a horny woman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With huge thighs? Yeah. Dummy yep. thick thighs. She had big curly hair, <laughs> lots of rings with stones on it. Ooh. She smelled like 100% patchouli. <sighs> and she always wore big skirts. And she had like such a boastful voice. And she was so... Tough love, but in the most like nurturing way. And I didn't know anything about her other than she really got me out of my comfort zone and made me like explore Aww. singing and playing piano. And she was, she wasn't harsh, but she was like, you need to work on that. Stern. And I, and, and I loved her and she brought me to a Unitarian church, which was like opposite of where my Catholic church. And it was the only church in my town with a rainbow flag. And years later, I found out that she was had been a lesbian her whole life and never talked about it. Wow. She, she was amazing. She was so fucking cool. I also think she was high all the time, which was great. Even better. <laughs> but she was just, she was such her own person. Wow. And never like brought any bullshit to the sessions. She was always like, "Let's get you better." So oh, how old yeah. were you? I was young. I took piano and singing lessons when I was like eight, nine. Good times. Yeah. Oh, years that is awesome Honestly, how much you remember of her too. This yeah, Dolores Paradise. So when I thought of D&D, &D, I thought. That's crazy. That's wonderful. Dolores Paradise. Which is how characters get inspired, right? I know. Like you that's think about so who cool. you know. She was oh. an amazing woman. It's good for me to hear because I had some bitches of piano teachers. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, that makes sense. 
Why? Because piano teachers can be yeah. pretty stubborn. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say, say like, it forms you. No! Because <laughs> no. you can't play piano for shit, which no, you No, piano teachers okay. can be like really, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I had some mean girls. Dolores oh. Paradise. Dolores Paradise. Love her. All Love right. her. Lunar event. Lunar event. Uh-oh! Uh, Starting oh, oh. with you, everyone shares the last dessert they ate. Ooh. Okay. Okay, if it's like shitty, does it count as a dessert? It like, was yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was here. I was just gonna say it's a sweet treat. It was oh, here. I had a bite of a coffee cake. Mm. Yep. Pumpkin pie coffee pumpkin, cake. Pumpkin pie Who coffee made it? cake. Courtney. Courtney. Courtney, our art person. Oh yeah. yeah. And it was Courtney's vegan here. and gluten free, it made was with delicious. almond flour. Delicious. I had a little two. after lunch treat. Yeah. Love it. I had a handful of M and M's last night uh, at a little like screening. So. Cute. Not as yeah. not too exciting, but all you need is just a handful. Mm -hmm. just a little girl Cute. boss yeah. dessert. Just yeah. a little girl dinner. I had a maple brown sugar cookie, also something that Courtney from Art made. Oh, yes. That sounds so good. I also That's had good. the pumpkin pie crumb cake, but on Sunday, I went to Olive Garden <gasps> and had the bottomless have, did you guys know bottomless about this? Bottomless what? It's bottom. Mm, it's bottomless <laughs> cake? breadsticks. Yes, soup, and soup salad. salad, and pasta. This is like for fourteen dollars. Wait, bottomless. dessert though. Bottomless this is not branded. This dessert? is not sponsored. I'm, I'm just like it. welcome. It's bottomless. I've been trying to go to like, Olive Garden. Like <laughs> six different soups. Yeah. There's like there's you like get unlimited six salad. different pastas. So where what so where dessert, the dessert did you have? So, and they gave us a little mint chocolate. This is like somebody oh, yeah. explaining Olive like Garden the AMC visit. Stubbs program like right now to me. Yeah, because I also it. you get to go to the movies. Yes, people still don't know about <laughs> it's it. It's true. They need convincing. They I'm need convincing. Side. You gotta sell it. Because yeah. it's twenty five dollars. Olive Garden for Anything Christmas. Anything with nudes in it. <laughs> I'm down. Noodles. Oh. Uh, I had the pumpkin from Courtney, <laughs> okay. and it was fucking bomb. Shout All out right, Courtney. cool. Draw another card. If you could start over, what profession would you choose? Why? Ooh. Ooh, good one. That's a good one for Start you. Start over. I'm excited. Okay, so this one, it doesn't feel like uh, talent or ability matters. Yeah. So, what do you want? What do you want? So I'd love to do something that was smart and that people needed, like a doctor. What kind of doctor? I don't think, here's the thing. I just would be really bad at it. It's hard for me to not think about my abilities. What do you really sure. want? Yeah, but you want to be good at it. Yeah, I mean, you, you I would personally love to help wanna, people. Yeah and heal people, but I don't think I would be able to do it. I think well, if we're dealing oh. with who I am. It's what you want to I do. Feel like it, I feel like the card is saying like yeah. starting from the beginning, from like the beginning. You, would, you would get into medical school, you would do all of that training. You have to believe in yourself yeah. for sparks. Yeah, but I don't think I want to go. I feel like, I don't I think feel you like do either. Skill set or not, like I feel like you could be a wonderful like high school film teacher or theater Ooh. teacher. I think you'd be yeah. a great teacher. Miss Derbis. Vibe, that's like yeah. my end game is like maybe one day I'll be a high school film teacher because like Love I it. also want to like because like yeah you're 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 teaching people but you are also helping people by yeah. being a great teacher and be, being there for students. Totally, I love that. That's so or true. you could be, you know, a pediatrician. Yeah. You'd See, but I don't like books and stuff, so. I don't think any of the pediatricians. <laughs> like textbooks. I don't want to go to school. I don't okay. Go to school. Well, so maybe like honestly a painter. I love that. Oh, for you. okay, yeah, yeah. You. you were saying that you were getting into that. Oh my god, I can too. so see you in a studio in Just like jeans like, that are like paint overalls. all over the oh, overalls. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, I, I dated a couple. I also want to pick yes. apart though too. It doesn't necessarily say that you have to do a different profession. So if you could start over, would you still choose the same profession? Literally, yes. Aww. Aww. Just smosh. Wanted to know. Playing this game. <laughs> Playing hey, this Rosh. game. All no right. pressure, but we've all chosen bottom ones. Oh. oh, are they shocked? Oh. It's bottom as well. Wow. What is the most outrageous thing you ever ate? <gasps> Ooh, this is good. Eat it or eat it does not count. No, eat no, it no, or no, eat no, it does yeah, not yeah. count. Um, honestly, if you guys know me, I'm a bit of a picky eater, which is mm. like a red flag of mine probably. Mm -hmm. But I think I told you guys this last time, or maybe I was telling Courtney about it. I did this experience in Montreal where I yeah. dined in the dark. So I did the thing oh, where like I that's... didn't. It was so cool. It was oh, it was amazing. And you like, use your hands. Right? You use your hands to like eat everything. And and we did the whole like surprise meal as well. We were like, bring us whatever. Don't tell us what it is. Nope. Um, which is just the most bold thing that I could have done, knowing that I was a picky eater. Um, so ultimately, we had deer. Uh, and that isn't venison. As, it isn't too crazy. What was that? Venison. Yeah. 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 And it was really good. Like I loved it. And I think. 
so much of like why I'm a picky eater is because I feel like I overthink so much and I end up like getting in my head and like being like freaked out at how something looks or maybe how it mm -hmm. smells. Mm -hmm. But to just like have all my senses just go away for a second and to just like eat, it was a great immersive yeah, experience. Wow. Now you can go to Arby's. Whoa. They have deer? Yeah. I think so. I think some Arby's but, have venison. No. Way. <laughs> no. Put Arby's oh. down. All right. I mean, it was good though. So, so. we're leaving the past going into yes. the present. We're letting we the past go. The I love past. that for you. Oh Somebody give me the odds. Somebody in the comments give me the odds of what five bottoms. There's. It's either bottoms or tops. <laughs> we are five bottoms in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> is there any? Is there any public figure that you look up to? Um, that's a really fun question for someone who, like, I am a public figure and I work with public figures. Um, but I will say the public figure that has been on my mind constantly lately uh, is Oliver Tree, the, the musical artist, because I think he's the, like, one of the hardest working artists I've ever seen. Like, outside of touring, I'd mm -hmm. say him and Megan Thee Stallion are, like, the hardest working oh, artists. Yeah. So we're, like... I can't even keep up with how much music Oliver Tree is putting out. His music is incredible. It's like nostalgic, but also really modern, and I, like it's very like I like can just hit shuffle on his on his Spotify, and I just like I love it all. But like he is when he puts out an album or if he's just putting out singles, he is constantly making content, doing press, like putting himself out there wow. and showing his stuff. And like he did a I spent a day with with Anthony recently yeah. and he talked about how like creating art and making a change in the world is so important to him and like how he thinks about death so much and just like about how how he's going to impact the world and like you know it's it's been on my mind a lot and like I, as someone who wants to pursue music eventually yeah. mm -hmm. it's like uh someone who I look up to a lot that's awesome that's and great listen to the, his music yeah, you were showing me his music video last time. I thought it was dope. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely. I will to totally music. listen to yeah. his music. He directs like all of his music videos. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's what? awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, and I'll watch his spend a day with. Yeah, it's good. He's a little cross. He's like he's like a wacky guy, but he for like I think one of the first times ever, he's just like himself in Anthony's video. That's awesome. Really? Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Love yeah. That. Thanks for letting me talk about something I feel passionate about. Oh for yeah. That long. Oh, Anytime. That's a present, baby. <laughs> I'm drawing a card. What word or phrase do you tend to overuse? Damn. Okay. Can I do it for you? No, I, I <laughs> live. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, there's so you many. You say versions. yours, and I'll say no, what I, I want to hear. We can guys. each do uh, a chantism. A chantism. It's good. always been. I've always done this in elementary school, in middle school. I have. Uh, like a set of like three or four phrases that I say so much okay. endlessly. Okay, go ahead. That's good. That's good. That's good. I was about to yeah. say it too. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. And I've always said that. Uh, That's that one's on I've its way out. out. That one's on its way That's out. I know and I love it, but I love an OG vintage one. And I've always okay. said that. Okay, this is Chance. This is Chance. He goes, ew. Okay. So yeah, true. Ew. So true. Um, Immediately. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, no one said, don't do that. I yeah, was yeah, gonna yeah, say it. Don't, do don't, do yeah. don't do that. Don't do that. Or no. 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 That's, that was a good. Big no. That's good. That's good. No. Get down. So what is it? <laughs> Get down. <laughs> you talk to me like a dog. It's an Drop that. No, I say, no. You don't know what it is? <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> Uh, I'll do it in conversation. Like if I don't want her to say something to someone, I'll be like, even, leave even, it. Even. I'll say it so <laughs> like quietly. a dog picking up a bone. Like, leave it. Especially when it's like my anxiety. When I'm it's like, like maybe I should spiral one more time about this. He goes, leave it. Like, yeah. It's like a dog with a bone. Aww, That's crazy. So wait, what is your top one though? What is what is? There's so many. The I mean, what is it your probably top? right now it probably is, and it probably is. Don't do that or one thing about me. One thing, oh, about me. one thing about me. I yeah. think that's good. Huh. Is also so really good. That's you good. Often, good. You often say that. Yeah. You haven't said it a lot lately, though. They 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 phase out. Good. They phase yeah. out. Very cool. Just haven't been saying that stuff. That's very good. Don't do that. Also say that's <laughs> funny. Leave it. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> leave it. You're like, yeah. He says, leave it. Stop it. Go back to your crate. <laughs> yeah. Get back Talk in your cage. Heart. Shut I'm the up. Kill you. I want Stop to kill talking. You. Angela, and shut up. Go home. That is not true. Get your phone. Okay, here's mine. I kid, I kid. Here's my present. What activities make you lose track of time? Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be so real right now. Reading Watching Turkish shows. What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Turkish shows. Turkish. Turkish. 
Shit. I've been watching a lot of Turkish TV, guys. <laughs> I don't know what happens. <laughs> They're very soapy, <laughs> and all the men yell constantly. Why do you like and, that? And I cannot stop watching it. <laughs> what? Guys, I got vulnerable. It, that's you mean. I literally okay. have no indication that that's where you were going when you were what? like, I'm going to be so real. What's another activity that makes me lose track of time? Remember when you read our, all of our tarot cards for like four hours? Yeah, it's tarot, so. tarot, tarot. Sometimes I'll do like a long spread, and if I'm with a friend and we read, hours will Just go. Oh, you did it for so many it. people, and I can't and give you, you water. And you were the best. <laughs> you were like, Angela no. ordered like two bottles of wine. She was like, anybody else need some wine? <laughs> Anyone crackers, else? Because yeah. I felt like she was just talking and not feeding herself. Oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> there's a business here. I was then. alive. Oh, let's do yeah. it. I follow a lot of Turkish people on Twitter. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. She thanks you. She's Thank you. You're, you're, you're welcome. But Turkish TV is very soapy, and I don't know what it is. Where do you watch it at? Netflix. Netflix has it. Also, or, I'll say, I'll is it like reality me. TV? No, it's like real shows. You and were, it's like are they dramas or comedies? And it's comedies? like drama. Can you like do like a little bit. Like, can you do a little? No. Bit? Okay. <laughs> I wish I could. Your favorite line. I wish, but it's it's very much. Leave it. The biggest thing is when they're walking. That when they're when something happens, they'll go, and then the rest is in slow mo, and they're like, oh, yeah. dun, 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 dun. That's freaking Bollywood. Also, say you. I feel like you lose Feels a lot like of a time when you're scrolling because you scroll differently than other people. Where you, you, if you don't understand something, I think most of us would keep swiping. Let's keep scrolling. If she doesn't understand something. She's on it for a while, and she's like, hmm. <laughs> I don't understand this Taylor Swift and the football player. <laughs> That's true. I did do and that like, yesterday. And I'm like, just move on. You did and she goes. That. Why are they rebooting Frasier? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you don't have to do that. I did that <laughs> I love forever it. yesterday. I was like investigative. I was like, yeah. Because the longer you stay on it, the algorithm is like, oh, she, she likes, likes looking at yeah. that. Yeah, well, I have Taylor Swift and this goddamn football player. <laughs> I have her in the fucking stands going, yeah. Going, yeah. And it's like, oh, it and too. I'm like, I have it what? Too. Yeah. I know, it's truly. Anyways. You watch a video for 10 seconds, and then, yeah, your phone is just well, like, I'm going to only give you that content. There's something beautiful, too, about watching it enough that you learn to like it. And the algorithm is like, oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, okay, Amanda's just like, yeah, but I don't. Why? What? Who <laughs> yeah, is he? No. <laughs> is he a quarterback? I'm like, who the f cares? <laughs> present card. All right, stay present. Whoa. What are you irrationally afraid of? How has it impacted your life? Mm. Wow. Ooh. Hmm. Let me think about this one real. Irrational, Irrational too. So it can be literally the craziest thing that you can Yeah. Have. Wings. Not uh, like, I don't, I'm oh, not like scared. Bird? <laughs> okay. Huh? I'm not scared of birds. I'm scared of their wings. Why? Because I don't like it. Like, it, I, I don't, irrationally don't no, no, no. know. You know what? You've totally. got a point there. Has like, something happened I just, to you? I think maybe, so my, my mom says when I was little, I was eating fries and uh, at the beach and uh, a, seagull. A, a seagull came by and took it. But I don't think that's the wing. I, like anything with like a wingspan, yeah, even like costumes fluttering. with wings, I'm like, yeah. No, it's because it's really? quick. It's like in your face and you're just like, what just yeah. happened? And I think I'm just scared yeah. of wings just coming and grabbing. Can we be like owls for yeah, Halloween just and just of, follow like, Angela that around? That sounds like Olivia's <laughs> fear with like butterflies because she because she had an experience where like butterflies got in her face one day. Yeah. Oh. I have a fear of like bugs getting in my face because yeah. one time I like lifted a rock and all these crickets like jumped out <gasps> of me. And like, so I have a fear of bugs and stuff because I'm afraid they're gonna like fly in my eyes. <laughs> like, okay. I must have had some bird in its wings all up in my space that I just Probably. suppressed. That, that happened to me when I was in elementary school we were like in second grade and in second grade we were doing like just gymnastics over on the grass Love right, it. as second graders do and I remember doing this back bend and I like opened my mouth and a cricket oh, jumped in. Ah! Ooh. A back bend? Why was your mouth open? I was like <laughs> yeah! 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 And a cricket like <laughs> <laughs> like woo! <laughs> and a cricket was like, I'm excited for you too, and hopped right in. <laughs> That's horrible. That's and I, awesome. I literally just like popped back up and I remember just going, Poof, and it just like spit right out. So That's I, a I horror movie. You're like, <sighs> you know, yeah. My cousins used to go camping in like an RV, and there was, we were in the middle of nowhere, and there was like big ant hills. I don't know if you've ever been oh. swarmed by an Ooh. anthill or like, if you've ever seen it. Ooh. But me and my cousin were like throwing rocks or some shit at an anthill for some stupid being <laughs> Ruining boys. their home, yeah. Getting into their Whatever. House. We were yeah. challenging them. Well, I don't know. Yep. And 
all of a sudden, they had come from behind or something, <gasps> I don't know. But I look at my leg, and they're just like, literally like a vortex. No! Swim. So then we just, and it was him too, and so we just have to start sprinting, and like there's no way to get him <gasps> off. So you just have to keep like running and patting him. <laughs> and they move what? fast, like when they're ready to- when they're ready to attack, they move fast. They're like, we know we're gonna yeah. get you. And they, okay, yes. I don't know what they did. They planned it and they knew exactly where I was and like how to get up my See, leg. I was like, it's when group, when they when they form as a group. group they're like, trying. I was at a beachside bar Whoa. recently and multiple pigeons were looking at this old guy eating. <laughs> and I was like, they're I like, we're gonna like get him. We're gonna, gonna get him. They're connected. Of one single. Yeah. Yeah. And sure enough. One went down, and then the rest went boom. And then the sh his, this old man oh! the champagne break. No! Oh, and they're all, and he's going, he's going ah, ah. And then me and my friend get up, and we go, get off of him! Oh. <laughs> you backhand pigeons, you grab a pigeon, and you're like, enough! No, but it was, enough. Scared, but it was the wings. It yeah. was the wings. That yeah. old man's probably scared of wings right now. Because it wasn't, they weren't even doing much. It was just all There's the, the wings. Oh. There's yeah. the wings. There's the wings. All right, all right. All right. Ooh. Do you think people are ever really able to change who they are? Dang. Ooh, should we get some alcohol? Like a glass of wine, maybe? <laughs> yes, oh, please. God. Here's the thing. I feel like this, this year for me has been like really big in that I've been forming a lot of conclusions of how I feel about the world and people around me. And this is something that I have yet to fully mm. understand how I feel. Like, because you learn right through experiences. You like, obviously like you meet people and you know who they are, but then I feel like in these past like two, three years of like post-college like adulthood, I've had so many experiences where people have turned out to not be who I thought they were. Mm -hmm. And it's really heartbreaking, but it it's sometimes- <laughs> Yeah, right? Never but it, ends. It, it, it sometimes, it makes me think though like, was I incorrect in judging them or did they actually just shift into that? Maybe they were a really good person when I met them and then something happened to them and that caused them Maybe to... you shifted. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you outgrew stuff. Yeah, okay. totally. I, I'm i gonna go with yes. I think people can change because uh, I'm gonna stand by it that every experience that you have in your life, like it's going to give you new perspective yeah. and I am definitely somebody who like, when I was younger, I thought that like I knew how I felt about everything. Mm -hmm. I like remember going into college being like, I know who I am. Like I know exactly who I am already. I figured it out. And then it was mm -hmm. just followed by years of being like, just pulling that apart and being like, no, that's not how I feel about that. And I actually changed my opinion on that. And I no longer feel like this about that. So yep. I'm gonna say people change. Nice. I agree with that. I would agree yeah. too. You guys yeah. think so? I feel like I yeah. need to clap after that. I, I don't know. Not all, but people change. Off, people, change. people change. People change. People change. People change. People change. Yeah. But you can't change them. Nope. No. That's, no. That's, that's huge. It's got to be an internal thing. Like, as much as you want to, like, preach for somebody to, like, do something yeah. or mm. change their habits, like, they have to ultimately mm -hmm. have that realization they change in as their much head. As they you want can to. change them. Just if you're gonna try, and it's not gonna change them the way you want to. Change. Absolutely. Ah, yeah, they're absolutely. gonna change. You're gonna scar them. You're gonna put some shit on them. Yeah. Yes. And then ultimately, That's I feel good. like you check yeah. in with them like a year or so after, and they're this completely different person. And you're like, oh, I was changing you. I was trying yeah. to make you be something that you are absolutely not. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're my trauma now. Thanks. Yeah. <gasps> wow. The present. Okay. Real. The present. The present. What a gift. Shall we go into the future? Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Let's take a peek. Okay. <laughs> you just started a country. What would be your first non-obvious law? Okay. okay. Oh, like a quirky law. Oh, so like, so I'm not gonna be like, no killing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's obvious. I don't know if I've ever been starting a country. Yeah. Huh? Because people You heard it here it. first, it sparks. <laughs> people don't I start countries. I'm a god, and I'm creating a planet. No, um, <laughs> I would say, mm, ooh, I have feelings, I have feelings. Uh, hmm, I think everyone uh, is required at some point in their life to start some kind of counseling, whether it's group counseling or mm. personal mm. counseling. I like okay. that. Like, having that in like the curriculum of like mandatory, of like there's always just a counseling 
I love that. Resource. Absolutely. Yes. That love. is required. Like yes. the DMV, but yeah. better. Because sometimes, like, those are the best parts in school when it's like, I love those times in school when we weren't talking about the curriculum, and with curriculum, we were just like talking about life. Like totally. Those, those were the teachers that I loved the most that like you, they just gave me life talk. And it was yep. like, wow. Like that was more impactful than the actual film as literature class that it so was. True. Yeah, so true. Yeah, I agree. So, so yeah, I would That's say. That's a good one. So that everybody's success, set up to communicate and, and stuff. What does the future hold uh, for me? If you could invite a famous person over for dinner, who would you invite? <laughs> okay. Same energy. Yeah. Alive or dead, does it matter? I'm gonna say alive. Okay. And it can't be like fictional. It has to be like... No Edward Cullen, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. I'm trying to think who I want over for dinner because why am I inviting them over to dinner? Do I want them to be my friend? Do I want to date them? Do I just want to be around that famous person? I don't want to just be around that famous person. Or maybe you want to understand like their mm -hmm. journey. Just want to spend if you could invite a famous person over Okay, they're coming no matter what. You'll figure out what you want from them at dinner. They're coming no matter One what. One thing about them, they're gonna come. They're coming. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. You can, you, you can choose like three if you want. No, no three. No, has to be one. No, this is no That's dream the role of rotation. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, let's invite over. I'm gonna invite over. I'm so sorry, but Tom Holland is coming over. <gasps> wow. wow. I did not expect you to say that. Okay, really? Billy Elliot. Really? I thought you were gonna go with it's Austin Billy Butler. Elliot. Oh my God, that was the other name. I was deciding between Austin Butler and Wait, Tom Holland. Wait, are you actually Austin kidding me? Butler? What? You you were gonna do Austin Butler? You're a piece of shit. Oh, he doesn't like that. Oh, you guys my break God. it up. Wait, Austin, Austin Butler is sexy. I'm on your side. No, I think he's cool. I he's just wanted cringe. to start screaming too. He's cringe. Hey, Why is he cringe? Don't do that. Who said he's cringe? Who, who said, he's cringe? said that? No, who said that? You said if that. If you think oh, he's I cringe, you better he speak up about it. He's a little cringe. Where Why? he's just like. Oh, babe. <laughs> babe, babe, babe. <laughs> You're just talking about <laughs> Elvis. Elvis. Whatever. You're literally talking about Elvis. Whatever. So you didn't like his performance okay, so in the Tom movie. Holland. No, I actually did like Elvis. Okay, no, Tom Holland it's is a great choice. about me. He seems funny. And what are you cooking? Oh, I'll do an eggplant tagliatelle. Oh, oh my gorgeous. Yeah. No, Tom is a great answer too, I yeah. think. Yeah. You're, such, seems you're fun. such a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I was sleeping with him. No, but the, the, it's what yeah. you're cooking. It's what it's you're what cooking. You're cooking. Oh, slutty. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, what you're cooking. It's oh, not yeah. what you're doing with your body. It's what you're cooking. Oh, that is so <laughs> slutty. Eggplant is slut. But then, but then slutty. have sex with him. If he wants. Why wouldn't he? It's an eggplant tagliatelle. Tagliatelle. Oh. All right, great. Uh, lunar event. Uh -oh. Lunar event. <gasps> the person to your left <gasps> looks at the top three cards of the deck and chooses a question to give to you. Then they shuffle the other two cards back in the deck. Oh my God. Is this for me? We're this playing this again. This is, I love this game. This is just a, a talk. When Spencer great. texted me this game, I was like, um, yes. How do I buy it? Um, yes. Um, yes. Um, yes. Um, 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 Thank you, because I got home yesterday forgetting. I was like, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Um, 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 Best character I'm ever. Dead. I was going to say, we also, we also have to tell them the poop in the ocean if you must. Oh my poop god. In the poop in the ocean, in the ocean. In the ocean. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what do you think will be the biggest change in the world 10 years from now? Oh. Whoa. A lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's gonna get fucking hotter. <laughs> That's but the sure. biggest the change. The biggest change? 10, what year will it be? 30, 2033. My hope is that there will be less, like, killings on on people on like hate crimes like less like we're done with mm. it yeah my hope is that there there's a stronger bond a more a stronger alliance of people coming together mm. for people who make decisions about their gender how they feel what they believe in their religious stakes like it, maybe if we had courtney's law on there the counseling yeah yeah maybe that would help to address yeah. trauma early but that's it and also um we all live by the ocean because it's gonna get fucking hotter. Beach. Okay, what expensive activity would you want to try if money was not an issue? Ooh, that's fun. Okay, what are expensive activities? Um, like skydiving. Okay. Doing like going on a yacht. I was Italy. just gonna say yachting. 
You you said you were gonna say yacht. <laughs> <laughs> Good what's, call back. What's really crazy is that was one of the cards that I drew for Amanda. Whoa. What? Your future is connected to and chances. We, and we're future. both saying yachting. yachting. We're gonna yeah. yacht. <laughs> or, or I think I an expensive activity would be own uh, uh, like own a bunch of wineries. <gasps> oh wow. And grow it. Oh, oh my god! Love. I just got chills. Wait, where? Where? Going to the vineyard. Going where? To the vineyards? Where are these vineyards gonna be placed? Um, I don't know. Pick a spot. I don't care. Let's France? Go somewhere in France. Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty Thank good. you. Oh, yeah. good. Also, like if I could drive mm -hmm. there, it'd be great to do like Santa Barb's. Oh, Santa oh, Barbara, love or that. Oh, oh we're not, not in oh, California. Hi. Not in California. I know, but if I wanted to make it easier, but you know what? Expense isn't an exactly. issue. So exactly. So France easily, all the way about. You'll probably best. have your private jet. Yeah. Private jet. Well, yes. What would you, uh, what would be your main wine? Oh, here's another one, though. What? An expensive activity I'd like to try if money wasn't an issue. Going to see the Titanic. <gasps> Don't <laughs> say that. You know how. You know I was very involved with that news story. And I was. In, I, 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 and you I were involved. Believe it. Was involved. It was Believe during it. VidCon, was and I was up. Wreck. I was up Believe all night. I was a wreck oh during the entire God. time. But how cool would it be to go see it? No, 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 no. Fuck Leave you. it. Go back to your crate. <laughs> all right, we're leaving that. Money's not an issue. I'm turning myself into a robot boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <You're> not. <laughs> Dude. It's a robot boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm looking at an old ship going, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll do this one before I start picking an event, because we got a lunar event. Uh-oh! 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 Starting with you, everyone shares one non-obvious item to bring with them to a deserted island, then draw another card. Non-obvious. Non-obvious. So it's like not like survival. Not survival. Starting with you. Okay, okay. She's giggling. Um, well, because the first thing that I was gonna say was my heating pad. Imagining that I can actually plug it in somewhere, my heating pad. Nice. That is like ah. one of my like most prized possessions. Really? So you like oh, sit on it? Or? I. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this um, sand is so hot. Let me get my heating pad. I uh, like, I could it sit on it, but okay, you guys know me. Like I'm freaking cold all the time. You are? I didn't know that. I am so cold. I am the one who's always like, can we turn the AC off? Oh yeah, you're right. It's Noah and I. We're always just like super freaking chilly. So oh, I always chill. have, we're super chill. I have my heating pad always on, like underneath my blanket, and it just like nice. heats my whole like bed up because I love just like climbing into that warmth. Mm. So obviously not necessary, but would be nice. But fun. But, but fun. That's your thing. It would be great. I love that. Yeah. I love that too. Regulate my temperature a little bit. Um, for me, it would probably be like lip balm. Like I, mm -hmm. I am not myself when I'm dry. Like yes. I not you when you're dry. need lotion after I wash my hands. I need face lotion after I get wet. I, and like most importantly, I hate when my lips are dry. Yep. So it would be like a like a nice lip balm. Yeah, I, I love that answer. That's great. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with you too. I, I agree. Think there's a lot of lip balmers. Yeah. I agree. Saltwater. Lip balmers. I think. Oh boy. I think I'm bringing. I think I'm just gonna bring a piano. Okay. Wow. Um, what? That's a little heavy. Uh, who's carrying it for you on the <laughs> island? You're like, it's already and there. I ride with it's my already piano. there. It's uh, already there. It's, it's there. Already there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Then cool. I get to entertain people. I get to entertain myself. Like play alone. around. I, it, who said it was alone? We well, deserted, deserted, I guess, technically, I'm, but... but I'm probably not by myself. I want to be there with like three other people. <laughs> okay. Like, to, like Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. Tom Holland. Austin, Austin Butler. Butler. Yeah, oh. Put me on that island. <laughs> yeah, you don't that's need great. that piano. Yeah. I like that. Nice. Um, mine, very similar, is like rose oil. Like oil. Ooh, like yeah. face oil. Mm. Probably just rose oil because I can do it everywhere. I hate to be dry. I have very dry yeah. skin. And I always think, like if I watch Castaway the movie, I'm like, God, he's so dry. Yeah. I can never be low maintenance solely because I like to be moisturized. I Same. Be, I can be super low maintenance. Oh, and I could just I could just have moisture. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't like if if there if makeup was gone from the world. I mean that would be yeah. sad because it's fun. If I had yeah, moisture, yeah, yeah. you got moisture. coconuts, maybe you can get some yeah, a lot of fat. That's true. Lot of that's coconuts. true. Yeah, some like organic that's natural true. products. Are those like weird like shampoo plants that you squeeze? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seen those? No. Yeah, yeah. It's phallic as. Nice. 
But trying to they're a little think slutty, about, but what's yours? If I was on. I think I'm like big brain in this. Think time. about think about like just yeah. something that you need all the time. Fork. Uh, yeah. Like guilty. Oh, pleasure. that would be so sad though. Because then you'd have to care for him. Yeah. 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 Um, hit, I hit. think I'd bring. Um, Copious amounts of reality TV. <laughs> okay. Just in your head. cable. Which reality yeah. show, if you can only bring one? Maybe every box set of you, Love Island UK. Okay. okay. Nice. One we'll cup of chat. So much. Like yeah. chat, yeah. But it's off. early days. It's early yeah. days. It's yeah. literally like a drug to me. I could turn off all the lights. I don't have to eat. I don't have to talk to anyone. I could turn my phone off, and I'm like, <gasps> nice. You want to go for a chat? Yeah. So do you want to get on to Love Island UK? No, I would never <laughs> go on. They wouldn't have me on the property. No, yeah, Angela applied okay. a few times. She's telling me. They wouldn't let you on they the property. They would be like, get also, yeah. I think you'd win. <laughs> they would literally be win. like, get this thing off. You like, you want to go for a chat? <laughs> oh, no. Stop. But you want some more paper? Oh. He's a bit of me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Leave it. Go Dig one. Into the future now. Go one. What does your dream house look like? Oh. oh. Okay. So lately, I've been really imagining, I, I'm really big on Pinterest. So sometimes I will just like scroll on Pinterest and just like save things and be like, this is just my, house. my dream house. And most of my dream house Pinterest board has just like this amazing kitchen. Just mm. like uh. lots of counter space, just like big sinks, like just very pretty, spacious, and island. just like a nice island, exactly. Because I feel like I've been trying to, I've been trying to bake more, um, but the frustrating part of it is like space. Like yeah. you need like all of your utensils, you need everything like just like really sprawled out. And I'm a very visual person, so it stresses me out sometimes when I'm like, oh, there's like not enough space. I need to like look at everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. So just have just like a beautiful kitchen in front of me. I just feel like I would be there all day. Okay, but nice. is it is it like modern or is it like? Ooh. So I really like like a farmhouse vibe. Yes. Yes. I'm all about that vibe. So I would I would make it like really cute, maybe like gold. Old handles and stuff like that. Like I love that vibe. Cute. Yeah. Cute. Have you ever like watched gold. Home on um, Apple TV? I have. Yeah. That, I love like home renovation. That shows documentary. And stuff like it's that. just called Home. It's like amazing homes all over the world. Unbelievable documentary. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it's not even a documentary. What My are, favorite I, documentary I, is Selling Sunset. You need <laughs> guidance. <laughs> Selling Sunset. I watched beautiful. one episode of that and I wanted beautiful. to die. Yeah, it wasn't great. I, I tried to, that too. Beautiful homes, get into beautiful that. Beautiful women. Beautiful <laughs> shoes. Okay. Did we? Did everyone pull? That was everything. <gasps> okay, guys. We get to oh, yeah. read our personal readings based on the little symbol at the bottom of your card. Okay, this is really fun. Okay, so Courtney's gonna go fast. This these questions led me to this question. Oh, I'm Capricornus. What's a Capricornus? Is Capricorn. it just Capricorn? Okay. okay, I got Crater. Okay, Chance, give me your C I'm Andromeda. Or, oh, okay. Mine. The world in 10 years. <laughs> bottom. Oh, I feel power. Right. You are bottom, top. Oh, Amanda, I think we have the exact same one. Crater. Seems, crater. You're both craters. Whoa. Whoa, we're both craters? Craters. Pretty cool, we have to share the card. These cards are gorgeous, show. Show. While you find the crater, it's so pretty. Yeah. They're, they're like exactly the, the stars. And what's yours? And mine is an Ursa Minor. Ooh. Ursa Minor. Ursa Minor. Thanks for, getting, thanks for getting raw with me, guys. Anytime. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Thanks for raw dogging this video with me. No Literally. worries. Okay. We will always raw dog when it comes to sparks. Share something that you would never change about yourself. Oh. That's sweet. I think. <laughs> okay, great. I think what I would never change about myself is like, I would never change like how much I love people. Like, I feel a lot of love for people that like don't even understand. Like, cause I'm very much someone who likes to like observe people from afar and be like, I love that person. Like, Brennan's a like weird example. Like him and I aren't very like close on a like deep level, but I'm like, I have so much love for, for Everybody. You do do you that. Really you do. really you do. You really do. Very, very loving. And that isn't a self-serving thing. That is a fact about you. That's. I would never change it. That is very beautiful. All right. That's an amazing quality that you have. Yeah. Thanks. And it and it shows right away too. It's like the moment that you just greet us when we walk in. Mm -hmm. Like I immediately want to go over and say hi and give mm -hmm. you a hug. Like 
That's true. It, it's it's in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I wish I could just like hug people and fix all their problems, but it's just like not possible. But I love everybody and want everybody to be good. You know. That's really sweet. We love you. We too. love you. Ugh, I'm sweating. Oh, sparks. <laughs> Share something about the true you that only your close friends know. So these cards these, don't play. Yeah, no, like, this is the emotional round. round. The What's tear ducts are open. Again? That's Andromeda. Andromeda. Oh, Andromeda. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people think that I throw a lot of shade or I don't like a lot of people or I don't like them, mm -hmm. and it is not that at all. I am, I'm, most of the time I'm saving my own energy to give out to the people that I, like I don't, I'm not disliking you, I'm just not giving you the energy mm -hmm. that you are expecting or like see me giving to other people. I'm just not giving that to you. It doesn't mean I don't like you. Mm. It means I just don't have the space to mm -hmm. give you that energy. I, mm -hmm. I'm using every, I'm using, I'm using it all. I'm using every, every ounce of it on, and I don't even use enough for myself. Mm, no, not even, mm. not even close not to even enough close. remainder for myself. Mm. So I, there's no way that I have the energy to give you the like, the the medial things. Yep. I'm like very, I'm very big. Go big or go home. Mm. There's no yes. middle ground. So if I can't go big, I'm like, I'm just, I'm not even gonna give you. You're not even gonna give anything. Doesn't mean I don't like you. Which means I can't, get, I can't spare any energy. Nothing mm. left. I love that. Yeah, maybe you need so to give less so you can give more to yourself. Also true, and more maybe more to other people. But then I'm like meeting it out. Maybe just give uh, to Angela yeah. since you tell her that she has to leave it and just go to her <laughs> crate. I'm just kidding. Maybe, like you're, yeah, that's his way of loving too. You're precious you know. with your energy and your space, and I think that that's like fair in a lot of in a lot of ways. So my close friends know that because I'm they, giving they them. Know, that's they what know I was that because say. they're like, "Wow, I'm getting so much," and then when people are yeah. like. Wait, he doesn't like me. He's like, nah. No, no, no. mm. And no, your I close just friends you love hard specifically. Yeah. Too. Like, and your close that's friends true. know, like, if maybe you don't always give to them sometimes, and they don't think, or is that true? Like, just sometimes you don't always give to your close friends because you're like, I'm just preserving my energy, and they get it. Oh yeah. Or are they, are they like yes. mad at me? When they're like, they no, no, no. They're okay, like, oh, cool. he needs. He's in his cave. That's two great. Days, three days. Those are good friends. Yeah. Maybe it's also like a. a thing for you too with like connecting with people too. Like if somebody has become familiar and they're a consistent person in your life, then you're able to trust them with that energy and be like, oh, now we have this back and forth. Like I want to give you this energy that yeah. I hold so close to myself. Yeah. yeah, you connect deeply. That's a good one. Okay, so Arasha and I both got crater. Should we answer this like together? Sure, yeah, I let's do it, go? yeah. Hmm. Share how you would like to be remembered. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Gosh, we gotta like. Woo! Ooh. Gotta this, get some Nerf guns in here. This next is great. Time. <laughs> Share nice how spark. you would like to be remembered. I would like to be remembered as someone who shared her gifts, shared her love, but also gave, still gave to herself. Like I would like to be remembered as someone who like. Like you and you, ha you have given so much, but you've also indulged in so much. Yeah, I, I don't want to be a Mother Teresa. I want to be like, I have given my gifts, but I have also lived a really beautiful life, and maybe not everyone knows how beautiful that life is. No, yes. So mm -hmm. like, there's privacy there, yes. while also sharing my gifts. Does that make sense? Absolutely. You did that so. this year, I think, with like getting married, and you were like, mm -hmm. I will be. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You were like, I am going to live in this. I'm not going to spend time showing that I'm living in mm -hmm. it. I'm just going to be in it. And that's super and that's hard. So it's good. very hard because I look through my wedding photos and I, I do want to post them, but it's like that feeling of like wanting to be like, if if it's if it's present in my life, if I'm showing it in my life, that's enough. I don't yeah. have to show everyone that I'm. You don't have to, yeah. But I also want to show people you know, parts of myself. I yes. want to show, like, give them my gifts or perform or no, give for them sure. love to the people that I really care about. Yeah. I think that is the thing that we, our generation is experiencing and the rest will, where it's like when you experience something, how we document it. Yeah. Even journal. Yes. Like, I, like, I didn't journal on a trip I went on recently and I felt like I didn't personally archive how I was feeling because mm. I didn't write it down. Yeah. And I was like, it's not... I can feel something and not take a picture of it or write it or post it or say it mm -hmm. and still feel the feeling. Yeah. yeah. And I think we are so like, post it, put it, 
it's like. But when you mm. post it, put it, I feel like I don't feel it. Yeah. I'll post it, put it, and sometimes, I, sometimes I'll feel it, but it takes me a while to really like center like my wedding photos. I want to post it, but I really want to feel it first. Yeah. I yeah. Can. And then be able to share. I almost mm. always later post. Yeah. Like I'm not posting. I'm not putting any time frame on it. And then if it's three months later, fine. Yep. No one knows the difference. No one cares. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah. It's and all. And then it's like. And then when I go back in a, a year later, it's like, oh, it's three months later. I don't even remember the difference. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, I think in inside that. of that too, then you get to cherish that memory and you know how you feel about it before you put it out there and get everybody else's opinion about how right. they feel about it. Exactly. Like, Honestly, yeah. like your yearbook at the end of the year comes out at the end of the year. That's exactly. so true. Don't have a yearbook every week. Yeah, Wait, I don't want to be really on meta. my death. I don't want to be really on my death. Meta. That's like, huge. Damn it! I wish I spent more time like living. Mm. Yeah. So, like, and you do a good job at that. I've seen you do that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I, I work on it all the time. I love that a lot. I think I want to be remembered as being really strong, like really just like independent. And now I think I'm strong and independent, and I want to continue to be remembered as that rather than latching on to a man. But what's strong and independent is realizing like I also need someone too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's really good to be like, I'm independent of a man, I can do it on my own, but also realizing like, I'm a person, I'm a human being, I also need someone too. Absolutely. Hey, like admitting it's like that balance. Kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Which is what I struggled with when I was like, I'm independent, I'm da 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 da, I don't need anybody. Yeah, but we're not solid. And then when I got married, I was like, yeah. oh, I also like need. Yeah. So a person. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And again, that's where my family comes back to. Like yeah. they're just my pillars. Mm -hmm. so. Great balance. And people yeah. can change. Yes. Look at the full circle. Gosh. Yeah. Just like Neon Evangelion when they um when they realize oh. that he needs other people in his life to break his ATP fields as well. I don't even know what you just I don't said. know where that any of that is from. Is that Star Kid? Like, <laughs> what you. is that? It's Star Kid. Star Kid, there we go. Okay, and you're last. Um, okay, I feel like I don't I, I feel like mine's a bad one to end on, but I don't know. This is what the stars have decided. Don't Ursa Minor. Which card did you get again? Um share Ursa, Ursa Minor. minor. Ursa share minor. something people would not guess about you. Oh, this is a great ah. card to end on. Um I know, but my answer I feel like might be, I don't know, it might be a downer. Um I'm trying to think of things that people don't know about me or things I don't lead with. And I was think I'm just thinking. Um, I think people don't realize that like I am truly a half introvert, half extrovert. Like when I am here and when I'm with people, I am very excited and happy, but it shifts mm -hmm. and it boldly shifts. And I think it's even scarier to be half of that mm -hmm. because um there are times when I need people and my body will not tell me that. It will tell me I need isolation, mm. but I know that I need to hang out with people. Mm. And that is just like an introvert's thing. Yep. But like I know that I need to seek my friends out, but I won't. Mm -hmm. And then I think a thing that people don't realize about me is that because I get so excited, it's like, I think this is just mental health. I think you see me get so excited because it goes up and down. Yeah. And I get mm. so so excited when I'm with my friends because I think I experience low yeah, loneliness. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think the only reason why I get so freaking like, yes, because I'm so <laughs> happy is because I experience the low lows. And I think yeah. people don't realize that because yeah. I'm only, it. only showing the high highs. Absolutely. But we, yeah. Um, but, I mean, but I honestly, and this You is, show the low lows sometimes too. Sure, yeah. And then you're like in a video and you're like, damn, I was quiet the whole video. And I'm like, well, Angela, you've been going nonstop the whole time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's like, yeah. And I mean, it's no one's, it's not my responsibility to show this other no. part, yeah. but it is something I don't think people guess about me is that yeah. the excitement you see. I think is equally you see the yeah. there's the other the yeah. high where and it's the lows. like and I don't think I would give it up because I get to experience really like when I am with friends um, because I think I experience so much just loneliness in my introvertedness it makes when I'm with my friends like euphoric. Aww. But also um, it makes you an amazing actor. Thanks. Because mm. I feel like you are able to touch. I feel like a really good actor or someone who can do comedy really well can touch those like really low parts. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I just think that's something people wouldn't guess about me. So that's, answer yeah. the question. You Great did job. it! Ah. Guys, we did it! We did Our it. personal reading! And now we take out Nerf guns and shoot! Wow! Yeah. Sparks really 
Fucking kill it. Hey, spark. Raw dog it's, it's spark. That was. Sorry. <laughs> I just love when Arasha says raw dogging and I say it. That was Thanks. awesome. <laughs> that was really good. Gemini, beautiful. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Sag. 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 Saggy girl. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was Sparks. There are tons of other Rabble games to play with that we will probably play on this channel. I feel really, really good right yeah, now. Yeah, thank you guys for like sharing all of that stuff yep. and for yeah. listening. Yep. Just, I feel like that was Truly. such a productive that conversation. Was Being vulnerable so, is your superpower. Being vulnerable won? is your superpower. So I got we all point check. I got four points. Point check, I got 50,000 points. I also discovered that I was crater first. So. If you mention Bye. mental health, you get 1,000 points.